everyone, welcome back to New England Graveyard. Jason here. Uh, with this new episode, I am currently at Holy Cross Cemetery in Danielson, Connecticut. And I am here with professional wrestling legend, Ox Baker. As I said, he was a professional wrestler. He was a gentle giant who was typecast as a villain. He's remembered for his 30-year career during which he felt numerous opponents with his trademark heart punch. He was raised in Waterloo, Iowa, where he was a standout athlete in high school until, until he was, for reasons unspecified, kicked out. After spending two years in the military, during which time he played football, he was trained by several professional wrestlers including world champion Pat O'Connor prior to his 1962 Kansas City debut. Originally presented in the guise of a glasses-wearing dimwit, he soon found his place as a bad guy, complete with the signature catchphrase, I love to hurt people. Over the years, he was part of several promotions, including the World Wide Wrestling Federation, now known as the World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, the World Wrestling Association, and World Class Championship Wrestling. He beat Carlos Colon for the, for the WWC World Championship, topped Cowboy Bob Ellis to earn the WWA belt. In 76, teamed with Big John Studd to capture the WWA Tag Team Crown. Took a large number of minor titles and was part of several long running feuds, including one with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Twice, Ox took the blame for death of an opponent. Alberto Torres in 1971 and Roy Gunkel in 1972 and privately suffered grief though on both occasions, medical evidence showed that nothing he had done in the ring was contributory. In the 1980s, he had a movie career in 1980s The Big Brawl, making Kurt Russell feel the heart punch in the 1982 cult, and in, in, in uh, Escape from New York. Making Kurt Russell feel the heart punch in the 1982 cult classic Escape from New York and playing a Russian wrestler in 1985's Blood Circus. Though gradually slowing down, he kept fairly, fairly busy up through 1980s. Later ran a noted wrestling school where he taught a number of successful students, among them WWF legend The Undertaker, and continued making occasional public appearances. Ox participated in a 2005 documentary about his life and career and died of heart disease after an extended period of declining health. I gotta tell you, you gotta look him up. He had one of the most epic stashes in all of professional wrestling. He was 80 years old. He passed away on August 20th, 2014, and it has not been updated on his marker. Uh, his wife did predecease him. And the epitaph Ox, my beloved, I'm here sleeping, waiting for you. Together we will join hands and go to heaven. Very sweet. All right, he's in the back of the cemetery. So let me show you around. The GPS on Find a Grave was uh, very... Uh, Helpful. Always a shout out and thanks to uh, Find a Grave. So this was the terrible Ox Baker. Though I gotta tell you, having been a uh, indie wrestler myself, I can tell you that the most vicious bad guys are always the biggest sweethearts. And I can tell you that from experience. So I hope you enjoy uh, this video. Uh, please like, share. There's a Subscribe, subscribe button down there, please click on that. And uh, if there anybody else, if you like the video, please uh, leave me a comment. I think that's about down here. All right, well, I will see you in the next video. Be safe and be well. Bye.